Thank you, First Minister, and uh, hello to you all. Well, as Scotland's Chief Scientific Advisor, there can be few more exciting tasks than to lead the development uh, of one of the world's biggest innovation prizes. It's a real honour to announce on behalf of the Saltire Prize Challenge Committee, Scotland's energy challenge to the world. And that will lead to the award of the Saltire Prize. Before I do this, however, I'd like to say a few words about the prize, and I'd also like to say why it's natural that Scotland should lead the world in supporting innovative thinking around new technologies. So, f first of all, why Scotland? Well, it won't be any surprise to you that my passion is science, and there is almost no better place in the world to be a scientist than in Scotland. Scotland is strongly recognised for our culture, so you will know about our warm welcome, which you are receiving tonight. That's warm in terms of heartfelt rather than temperature. Um, you also know about the beauty of our landscape, our music, um, our, our whisky. But in the 18th century, Scotland developed the technology and the thinking that created the modern world, and we are still doing this. We are still at the cutting edge. And if I give you a couple of examples, we have Dolly the sheep, the first mammal to be cloned, was cloned in Scotland. Um, a technology example, the technology at the heart of the ubiquitous iPod was created in Scotland. So we have fantastic technology which is still world leading. And in a, ve a very broad and diverse range of areas. So why does the world need a saltire prize? Well, rapid man-made climate change is really the overriding challenge for all of us, and I think particularly our young people. And earlier today, the Saltire Prize Challenge Committee uh, had a presentation from young people from schools in Orkney, in Clydebank and in Forfar uh, who are, are with us this evening. And you know, they were full of energy. They were full of fresh thinking and imaginative proposals. And for me, they embody what we want to achieve with the Saltire Prize. Uh, now, Scotland can't solve all of the world's energy problems, but we are impatient and we're impatient to help drive development of new technologies, and new technologies which will rebalance the energy landscape uh, for future generations. The Saltire Prize Challenge will intensify interest and engagement in exploiting marine renewable energy. So harnessing the power of our seas is a, is a great global challenge, and it's been the focus of many leading research groups and academics uh, over the past 30 years, many of them in Scotland. And good progress has been made, but we need to accelerate the full-scale commercial deployment of these technologies. Unleashing the potential energy stored in our seas and oceans will also have massive economic impact. It will have economic impact for Scotland. And as the First Minister mentioned, the marine resource that we have in Scotland is in, unparalleled in Europe. And the benefits that we get from marine renewable energy in Scotland will also be shared by those around the world, both in terms of economic impact for other countries, but also in terms of the fight against climate change. So I'm sure that the whole country and all of you would want to share in the vision of Scotland as a net exporter of energy and clean, green, renewable energy at that. Um, that's quite some ambition. So th this brings me to the Saltire Prize Challenge. And we've received enormous support over the past few months uh, in the complex task of setting this challenge. We have a number of people who've helped and worked with us very closely. And I, I want to, to mention particularly the Technical Advisory Board who looked at lots of different options and how they might be considered and molded into an exciting challenge. And I want to thank also the challenge committee, my colleagues in that. 
and really to both groups give them my sincere thanks for the time and effort and these are some of the best people in the world who've been working together enthusiastically with us on setting this challenge. And, and indeed, I also want to add special thanks to colleagues in Scottish Government who have uh, driven the, or uh, helped us with the Saltire Prize Challenge team, who've ensured that we've been able to come in with a challenge that we can announce today. It's been a real pleasure to work and, and to continue to work with these, these people. So, on behalf of the Saltire Prize Challenge Committee, I would now like to announce the Saltire Prize Challenge. <laughs> the challenge. The Saltire Prize will be awarded to the team that can demonstrate in Scottish waters a commercially viable wave or tidal energy technology that achieves a minimum electrical output of 100 gigawatt hours over a continuous two-year period using only the power of the sea and is judged to be the best overall technology after consideration of cost, environmental sustainability and safety. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for a second, uh, I, I thought Anne was going to read out the winner. Uh, as such was, uh, uh, but, uh, as I say, when last was something born in Scottish society, some uh, challenge met or some triumph won. The challenge has been set. It's up to you and, and those like you to, uh, uh, to win the triumph.